By the standards of 1972, this was one of the most violent scenes ever in a movie, Sonny's savage beating of Carlo. It was shot on 118th Street and Mount Pleasant Avenue. We returned to that place with the victim, Carlo, played by Gianni Russo. You ever thought you'd be back on this stoop so many years later? No, I never thought, I never thought the movie would be that successful. We walked the same path that he ran so many years ago. Well, he threw the bat at me, and I went down with that, and then I saw, you know, I just wanted to get out off the block. How many times did it take? How many, uh, how many takes for oh this? Oh, my scene? God. Must, it would have to be at least 15 takes. When you're beaten severely, it's against that wall? Yeah, because I'm running. He catches up with me, as you know, and then he throws me over that rail. And there was a grate there with the old garbage pails. And that's when he starts banging me, and I'm holding on to the gate. And you come to a rest uh, Well, he drop right kicks me, yeah. And that's when he broke my ribs, actually. What was his final word? Oh, he broke your ribs? Oh, yeah, he chipped my elbow with the garbage pail cover. Yeah? And I had padding on him. Jimmy's very physical. And he kicked you, and he actually broke your ribs. Yeah, he drop kicks me, and that's when I roll over. And he's, that's when he tells me, you touch my sister again, I'll kill you. Touch my sister again, I'll kill you. As they say, Carlo had it coming. In the story, Carlo thinks he's made it big. After all, he's married the Don's daughter. But he'll never go anywhere in the family. Now, your new son-in-law will give him something important. Never. Give him a living, but never discuss the family business. And it's downhill from there. You know, Sonny and Tom, I'd like to talk to you maybe after dinner. I could be doing a lot more for the family. We don't discuss business at the table. But the weak Carlo is no Gianni Russo. A hugely confident man, he was running Las Vegas jewelry stores in 1970 when he literally talked his way onto the movie with no acting experience, zero. You had never acted before? Never. You never acted? Never. He parlayed some connections with the Italian Anti-Defamation League, which was initially opposed to the film, and managed to score the role of Carlo. Clean it up! Marlon Brando was shocked that Russo was not an actor. Because he came over to me, he says, uh, you're a big TV actor. I said, no. He says, you have a big movie coming out. I said, no, I don't. He says, well, you, I know you're not on Broadway. I know everybody on Broadway. He says, who'd you study with? I said, study what? <laughs> <laughs> but the master actor grew to like Russo and coached him. Stracci. Cuneo. Russo was a receptive student. He took it all in and held his own with some of the greatest actors ever. Get him a drink. The Godfather changed everything in Russo's life. Hello, Carlo. I capitalized on it more than anyone, actually.